Now returning to bacteria and eukaryotes, our membranes, the, the phospholipids and the fatty acids are not all the same. In fact, they vary in the kind of fatty acids they have. The fatty acids linked to glycerol in our phospholipids can vary in the chain length. So palmitic acid has 16 carbons, stearic acid has 18 carbons, and arachidic acid has 20 carbons. So they can vary in the chain length. And then they can also vary in the number of double bonds. When a double bond is introduced between two carbons in this chain, then that causes a, a, a bend or kink in the uh, carbon chain. And I will show you exactly how that works in the next slide. And a fatty acid chain that has one double bond is called a monounsaturated fatty acid. So saturated fatty acids have the maximum number of hydrogens with no double bonds in the carbon chain. Each chain in the carbon has two hydrogens. The last carbon has three hydrogens. There's the maximum number of hydrogens. When you put in a double bond, each double bond means that uh, the chain has two fewer hydrogens and we can have unsaturated fatty acids. And then there are polyunsaturated fatty acids, meaning they have more than one double bond. And which e with each additional double bond, you get uh, increased bending. Linoleic acid has two double bonds. Linolenic acid has three double bonds. And you can see it actually begins to look like a hook. And arachidonic acid has four double bonds. It's almost beginning to close in upon itself. Now you can imagine that a membrane with phospholipids consisting only of these straight saturated hydrocarbon chains, these will pack together really well and form a very rigid impermeable membrane. When you start mixing in these monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fatty acids, now these fatty acid chains cannot pack as well. There is, these disrupt the packing and they increase the permeability. And fluidity of the lipid bilayer and the cell membrane that they're present in. So this is important because membranes must maintain a certain amount of fluid fluidity for all the things that they have to do um, and for to allow uh, transport of materials across the membrane. You can't have too much otherwise the cell gets way too leaky and you can't, but you still have to have some to allow uh, diffusion and transport processes. So here's what I, uh, so here is why uh, double bonds cause a bend in the fatty acid chain. This is a naturally occurring double bonds. So in naturally occurring fatty acids, all double bonds are in what's called the cis configuration. Meaning that the sole hydrogens that are left to these two carbons are on the same side of the double bond. The alternative is that the two hydrogens could be on opposite sides of the double bond and that's called a trans configuration. 
here is transulenic acid. Well, all naturally occurring fatty acid, monounsaturated, polyunsaturated, they all put their double bonds in cis configuration, causing a bend. If you have the double bond in trans configuration, well then there is no bending. It, it's uh, very much, it's very similar to an unsaturated, or uh, it's very similar to a saturated fatty acid with no double bond. These trans fatty acids occur only in man-made fatty acids or in processed lipids. So when you buy a product at the grocery store and look at the label, and if it says it has hydrogenated vegetable oil, that is how you get trans fatty acids. Trans fatty acids, um, the cell, your cells never see trans fatty acids naturally, and they really don't know how to deal with trans fatty acids, and trans fatty acids uh, just are not good for you.